Hey guys, what's going on? It's Blade again from Cardio Security and today we're looking at the JBL Base Pro Nano. So the JBL Base Pro Nano, this is a very, very small footprint under seat sub. So this is designed to fit under your seat or you could put it in your boot. Uh, mostly designed for small cabin areas, just to give you that little bit of base. Uh, this particular one is around 100 watts RMS, 200 watts peak. Um, and like I say, very small footprint, but let's open it up and see what comes inside. So after opening up the box, we've got everything laid out in front of me. Starting off at this end, we've got your usual instruction manual. So if you're not sure how something goes together or not sure what to do, most of the time you're going to have the information in here. Next, you have your main power and speaker loom. So this particular loom, I'll just open it quickly, is a multi-pin connection that is a direct connection to the box itself. You have your power cable input, the red cable. You have your earth, which is the black cable, and you have your remote cable. And then you have four speaker wires, which allows for high level input. Now this essentially is a speaker level input. So if you have a factory head unit and you're not using a line output converter, this will accept a high level signal input. Uh, you do also have low level inputs directly in the unit, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, the only other thing left is your remote, so it will need a remote signal to turn on and off with the vehicle. After that, you have a base controller. So, if you can see this, it's a very small base controller with your control on the front, so that way you don't have to have it on max all the time, you can turn it down for certain songs. You have the extension or the plug for the base controller itself, which is like a phone style plug. It plugs directly from the unit itself to the controller. You have a bag of accessories, which is mounting brackets, screws, and I think a spare fuse, which is a 15 amp, so 15 amp fuse. And then you have the unit itself. So as you can see, it's a very, very small footprint. I mean, in comparison, that's my hand. I don't have the biggest hands in the world. So it's very, very small, nice and slim. It's gonna fit under most seats. Uh, probably not modern vehicles because you've got a lot of electricals and uh, heat vents and stuff like that. But older vehicles, you'd definitely get this under a seat or even just behind a seat will work nicely as well. Now, this is the business end where all the connections are going. Starting at this end, you've got your 15 amp fuse. So that's where the spare one would go if, you, if it needs to be replaced. That's where your power connection goes. So this loom here, We'll plug directly into there. These are your low level inputs, so the RCA connections. So if you do have an aftermarket head unit, you plug directly into there, you're gonna get better quality through this um, rather than going high level in. So just bear that in mind. This connection here is for your uh, base controller. So that's where this lead will plug into, that's gonna go in there. And then you can run the base controller to the front of the vehicle. And then you have all of your adjustments. So you have a gain control, base boost, low pass filter, a auto turn on, so it's like a push button. This is a phase switch, so you can change basically whether the subwoofer is playing kicking out first or kicking in first, depending on what works best for your vehicle. Obviously the gain control, just bear in mind this is not volume. Uh, if you turn this up too much, you do run the risk of blowing it. If you're getting distortion, this is dependent on obviously if you're using high level or low level input, because you're going to be using less gain if you're using high level. and more gain if you're using low level. Now bass boost, obviously you can turn this up a little bit if you want. We try not to turn bass boost up too much because it's just going to introduce distortion. You should be able to get the most out of the subwoofer just by adjusting the gain. And then low pass filter, this is very important. If you don't set this correctly, so if you're turning this all the way up, you're not going to be getting the correct frequencies out of this. So this essentially will allow, so you see it says from 50 to 100 hertz. So 50 being the lowest, 100 being the highest. So this will play everything below what you set it at. So if I set this to say 80 hertz, which will be roughly in the middle, I'd say roughly. 
Um, if you put that to 12 o'clock point, it'll be 80 hertz, it'll play from 80 hertz downwards. So if you want a little bit more mid bass through it, you can turn it up to say 120 hertz. If you want just low bass out of it, you can turn it down to say 75, 80 hertz. The auto turn on is dependent on whether you're using high level input or not, and essentially whether you're using a remote cable. So if you don't have a remote present, this will sense a signal coming in. So if you click this down, if it's only speaker signal coming in, this will sense that signal and then turn itself on and off, depending on whether that signal is there or not. So the phase switch is just dependent on what's going on in your vehicle, if you need to have it kicking out or kicking in first, whichever sounds best. There's no right or wrong way essentially to do that. Uh, that's essentially it. Into the specs of the actual driver that's inside this, you should be able to see it a little bit underneath the grill here. It's got a nice matte black grill with obviously the JBL logo there and it says Base Pro Nano kind of embroidered into the, uh, into the metal there. Uh, the actual woofer is a 6x8 diameter woofer. Obviously, as I said, it's 100 watts RMS, 200 watts peak. So don't expect serious power out of this. Um, it's not going to give you that, I'll be honest. Uh, it's literally just for the person that doesn't want to take up space in the vehicle, but just wants that little bit of base that your door speakers aren't going to be able to re reproduce. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice small footprint. Uh, you do have the um, the little screw points here to mount this down so if you do need to screw it to a board or screw it down somewhere you are able to screw these brackets to the bottom of the woofer and then they, they'll stick out so you can actually screw it down but usually if you're putting it under a seat we just re recommend putting some velcro down and then that will actually stick to the carpet of the vehicle and shouldn't move around too much at all but that is pretty much it Okay, so that was a quick overview of the JBL Base Pro Nano underseat sub. I think it's an awesome option for someone that's not looking for taking up a lot of space in their boot or any space at all in the vehicle, really. It's just going to be fitted in an area that you're not going to be using. Um, I have seen these fitted and we have, as a company, fitted uh, subwoofers like this in the passenger kick panel. So essentially where the passengers will put their feet. So if you don't have any space under the seats, you have a little bit of leg room, that can be taken up. You can put them there and still get a decent amount of base out of the vehicle, but just please bear in mind, these are designed to play against something. So ideally they need something to reflect the base off of to actually produce a decent sound. Uh, if they're just playing into an open area, like if you just chuck this into your boot, you're probably not gonna be getting the best out of it because it's not reflecting off of anything. Uh, so please bear that in mind. So these are very competitively priced as well. For a JBL product, this is pretty good, $199.99. So you know you're getting good quality with the JBL brand and you're not spending a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, so definitely worth investing in. So that's pretty much it for me. If you've liked this video, make sure you give us a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.